When it was finally time to board the plane, it turned out that there were no more economy class seats left. Kim and Ashley were offered to fly in business class. Oh, yes! There, the girls saw three people. When the flight attendant served them fresh juice, she whispered that Kim and Ashley were extremely lucky. They were about to travel next to a famous Italian billionaire. Can you guess which of these passengers is the billionaire? This glamorous lady is a good candidate, but it's very unlikely a billionaire would wear a 100% polyester coat. This guy's business suit is very elegant, but look at his shoes. They seem quite cheap and worn out. This funny gentleman must be the real billionaire. Although his outfit is rather casual, his gold watch looks very expensive. The glamorous lady began to chat with Kim and Ashley. She told them she had recently visited an exotic island with her friends. Then she showed the girls some pictures. When the lady went to the restroom, Ashley whispered to Kim, This woman is a liar. She photoshopped this picture. How did Ashley know that? It's all about the shadows. They all look natural, except this one. People are sitting in their seats. The lights turn off. Someone is chewing popcorn. Someone is drinking soda. The movie starts. This is a horror movie. Someone screams. The ticket taker enters the hall. Several people haven't paid for their tickets. Guess who? No one has a ticket here. Free entrance, the note pinned to the back door claims. Once, on a cold winter night, someone stole jewelry from a famous singer's house. The thief didn't manage to run far away because a police car was passing by. The burglar hit the bag with the jewelry in the snow and disappeared into the crowd. Detective Anderson managed to catch two suspects. Look at them and try to guess who robbed the singer. If you dig snow with your bare hands, they will turn red. This man has red fingers and palms. But that woman could dig snow wearing a pair of gloves, so she could be the thief too. But she wouldn't be able to run in such high heels. After the meeting, Zoe unboxed a delivery from a popular writer. He sent Zoe his new masterpiece in secret. Zoe didn't say anything about this to her colleagues. But one of them was actually trying to steal the script. Can you guess who this person is? It's the assistant. He's using his front camera to take pictures of the mirrored ceiling while Zoe is looking through the script. You're walking along the beach. Suddenly, you hear a scream. A woman is calling for help. She's drowning. You run into the water and swim toward her. As soon as you approach her, you see three more people. They're all screaming, but only one of them needs help. The rest are mer people who want to take you to their kingdom. How can you find out which one is human? Dive under the water to see who has a fishtail. Richard likes abandoned buildings and old castles. Today, he's going to check a huge house that belonged to a vampire a long time ago. Well, that's what the legends say. Richard certainly doesn't believe this. He takes his camera and sets off. It's dark and cold inside the house. Crackling sounds are coming from the corridor. Richard shines a flashlight and sees three vampires. Richard starts running away, but then he stops and returns. It seems these vampires are fake. How did the guy understand this? There's a mirror on the ceiling above the first vampire, and he gets reflected there. The second vampire has no fangs. The third one? Uh Uh-oh, he seems to be real. Better run! Now, Richard wants to visit an abandoned hospital. There are rumors that werewolves live there. Richard is sure it's a myth. He's walking around dark hospital wards all night, but finds nothing. 
He's about to leave, but four men block the exit. They are howling and growling. Which of them is the real werewolf? No one. The full moon is shining through the windows, but these people haven't turned into monsters. But still, Richard runs away. It seems these guys are really crazy. A rich man comes to an exhibition of modern art. He's going to buy a new painting for his collection. The owner of the exhibition shows him three works of different artists. In the first picture, there's a green triangle with a sunflower in the middle. The second painting is of a tiger taking a selfie on its phone. In the third picture, there's a flying house. The collector is sure that one of the paintings is fake. Which one? Each canvas has the artist's signature and the date when it was created. The painting with the tiger is dated 1957. There were no mobile phones and selfies at that time. This picture is fake. Martin's nervous because today is his first DJ performance at an electronic music festival. He goes on the stage. The crowd is cheering. Martin puts his headphones on and turns on the first track. Music is playing, but people aren't dancing. Why? The music is only playing in the DJ's headphones. Martin hasn't connected the wire to the speakers, see? Jack is walking through an ancient, abandoned city in the desert. Treasure is hidden somewhere here. Jack checks the map and finds the right place. He starts digging. Six hours later, exhausted, he hits something with a shovel. It's a chest. Jack pulls it out of the ground, rips off the rusty lock, and opens it. The chest is filled with ancient gold coins. Each of them costs hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now Jack is incredibly rich. But he shouldn't be happy because all the coins are fake. Why is that? Each coin has a date, 145 BCE. It seems they're really old, but people who lived at that time couldn't write BCE on their coins because they didn't know they lived before the current era. A university professor enters a lecture hall, where his colleague, an elderly teacher, is giving a lecture on quantum physics. He's drawing formulas on the board, and his students are using their laptops to take notes. The professor knows that one of these students is sleeping. He starts walking around the room, stopping behind each of them in turn. Who's dreaming right now? Almost all of the students are writing the formulas down in their laptops, except that one. His screen is off. That's because he's fallen asleep. Detective Anderson is chasing a robber dressed in a tuxedo. Suddenly, the criminal runs inside a huge hall. All the people there are formally dressed. Help Detective Anderson find the suspect among them. Catch that guy! He's sweating because he's been running. Leo's boss yelled at the guy because he hadn't completed his weekly work plan. Now, Leo has to spend his entire weekend in the office finishing his work. The boss took Leo's magnetic card so that he couldn't leave the building. Several hours had passed. Leo feels hungry. There's no water or food in the office. But there's a fridge and cooler in the next room behind the door with a magnetic lock. On Monday, Leo gives his boss the completed report. Somehow, the guy managed to get food and water. How did he do it? Leo just went to the refrigerator and got himself some food. No one said the door with a magnetic lock had been locked. Victoria approaches her house. The light bulb turns on automatically and lights her way to the door. Victoria inserts the key and goes inside. A couple of hours later, the doorbell rings. She looks through the peephole and sees a silhouette of a man wearing a hat. 
Victoria is afraid to open the door. But not because it's a stranger, but because it's not a human. Why does she think that? The light sensor didn't work, so there's no physical body outside. There's a huge airplane hangar on the edge of the desert. Pilot Tyler steps inside and notices a cat sleeping near the ceiling on one of the beams. Tyler decides to save it. There are no stairs and nothing else that can be used to get there. The only thing Tyler sees is a large puddle of water on the floor. How did the cat get there? There was a pyramid of ice cubes. The cat climbed to the top of it and reached the ceiling. Then the ice melted and left the puddle. Gee, I guess I won't mention my theory about the cat drinking so much water to the point of bursting, which then propels the cat up in the air and… well, let's stick with the ice cubes. Margaret, Rachel, and Diana are walking down the street, sharing their plans for the weekend. The girls look rich, but only one of them has a lot of money. Who is it? It's Margaret. You can notice the key to a Ferrari in her bag. Rachel had been dreaming of becoming a famous actress. Finally, her dream was about to come true. A famed talent agency had invited Rachel for an interview. She arrived at the office to meet her new agent early in the morning. There were four people in the conference room. Can you tell which one is Rachel's agent? This guy is the only person who doesn't have an employee badge, so he's probably a guest too. This man is wearing a classy, expensive suit, but he brought coffee for everyone. He's an assistant. This lady's mug says world's best lawyer, so she's probably responsible for legal issues. And this relaxed lady over there is Rachel's agent, Zoe. Zoe offered Rachel to take a seat. Which place should Rachel choose? This chair is missing one leg. Someone has spilled coffee on this chair. It has written the boss on the drink in this cup and left it on the table next to this chair. And someone has left a sweater on this chair. So Rachel has only one option. Here it is. <laughs>